I'm Philip Bloom. And I'm on a boat. Just playing around, actually. Um, we're just having a good time up here, uh, upstate on the lake with the family this weekend. But we're gonna be getting back to work really soon getting back home to the studio to focus on senior season coming up. If you're a senior portrait photographer, or if you're like Eileen and me, Bloom Photography, and you focus mainly on wedding photography, seniors are an amazing way to round out your business, create some uh, diversity in the business, and think about it, these seniors are gonna grow up to become your future clients if you've got that long-term perspective. So today, I wanna talk to you about at least three ways that you can in an unconventional manner, market to seniors. It's going to be through career fairs. One of those is going to be through scholarships and finally through the Alumni Association. So you can almost think of these unconventional marketing tips for seniors as being the entire lifespan of a student's life, right? So you're gonna start with them in school, attending career fairs, thinking ahead, all the way until time, time for scholarships and considering colleges, and they're really getting to that senior year when you'll be photographing them. And then alumni association, even graduates, how can they, uh, your high school graduates, how can they help you market back to a school? Um, so starting on the first side of that is going to be with your career fairs. I was talking to a friend of mine who was a high school teacher, uh, just shooting the breeze, and uh, this, this teacher, Rob, mentioned that he was organizing the career fair for his high school. Um, and how, how difficult it was for him to get volunteers committed to showing up setting up a booth and representing their career to these students. Um, and on the phone, I instantly said, sign me up. I will be there, I will take the evening off and I will talk with these high school students and make, make them uh, open their horizons to a career in photography. And why was I so excited about doing that? Because from my marketing brain point of view, a high school career fair, which is a very common thing going on in all the high schools around you, um, that was like a free marketing opportunity, right? It's basically like a wedding trade show, which you might pay hundreds, thousands of dollars to be part of, only here, they're begging you to be part. They set up your table for you. They, they give me snacks when I attend. They thank me profusely. And it's all because I came and talked to these um, seniors and their parents who are required to be there alongside them. And it's not nearly as hard as a wedding trade show. Because at a wedding trade show, if you think about it, you know, you're often the bride and groom are walking by and they don't want to make eye contact with you. They don't want to be sold to. Um, at a career fair, the students are actually required to speak to me. They have a form in hand. They have to interview me. It's an assignment. They have to ask questions. And I get to talk with um, student after student with their parents and doing something which is very easy, convincing them that photo photography is an awesome profession and an awesome experience to be a part of. Um, and I'm not focusing on a hard sell, that's not what the school has asked me to be there for, but I can certainly give them information about my senior portraits while making this personal connection. And I can tell you that turns into conversions to clients. So let's move on from the career fair to another unconventional marketing method, which is um, scholarships. A lot of us, you know, we, I personally don't put much money into marketing. I like to put ideas and creativity into marketing and try to do as much free marketing as possible. Um, one thing I don't mind putting my money into is good causes. And I think education is a good cause. And also when your potential clients, not just the seniors, but their parents, because remember those are your clients really who hold the purse strings. Um, so when I want to create a relationship and a trust-based relationship with my potential clients, I want them to see that we have shared values. So it's wonderful whether I'm talking to the parents and their kid at a career fair, or whether it's just um, giving applications, scholarship applications to a high school counselor um, with our information on it. We like to let them know that we give a few um, small scholarships, maybe just a few hundred dollars that will help a student after they graduate buy their first semester's college textbooks. Um, but we're investing something into their education. And there's a couple ways that we like to present that. It can be one, um, as a, a contest, a, a giveaway that we do for one of our senior models in our uh, senior ambassador, ambassador or senior model program. Um, and it can also be simply something that um, students at a school can apply for if the guidance counselor will give them our application. Um, and so 
at that point, we, we not only have these applications with information we want to know about students, um, but we're able to choose one of those randomly and give a scholarship. Um, and we have the contact information for all of the rest of them to also send them information about um, our photography and how they can remember their senior year. Um, so we have these contacts we wouldn't have had otherwise. So scholarships are great and it builds your reputation in the senior parent community. Finally, alumni events. Um, this hit me uh, like, like a brick when I was invited to an alumni association event at my former high school, my alma mater. And as I arrived, excited to see familiar faces, I, I arrived and found I was the only one there with my three kids in tow. Um, of course, the faculty were gathered around us just, you know, serving us and taking care of us because there's nothing else for them to do. So we felt like royalty. And it hit me and I, I mentioned to them, you know what? We love being here, we love the school spirit, we love being connected after all these years to our alma mater. I wonder if we could really make an event like this take off. And I'm, I'm a photographer, a business owner, I've got some marketing ideas, maybe we could really make the next event like this take off for the school. And they're excited to hear it. So we simply put together an idea that you can read in my article more about the details this month. Um, but we basically wanted to create the, uh, more publicity for the next event, alumni event like this. We just we offered to donate our photo booth, which is a simple back uh, drop and flash, which allows us to meet potential clients and sign them up uh, for free prints and therefore have contact with them for future portraits. Uh, we also offered to, to um, give, give away a portrait session, a family portrait session and a print package, and call on some other alumni who have businesses to ask if they wanted to do a giveaway. These giveaways and the communication before the event creates excitement and draws people in. That's great for the school, it builds their alumni relationships, and it's great for me because it puts me in touch with a lot of people, not only alumni at the school, but I encourage them to increase the event to email out to parents of the school as well. And all of a sudden you're bringing people together surrounding uh, you, and I'm telling you, a lot of good, uh, a lot of talk is going around about you and, and the good that you've done for the school. It's not a lot of work. The last bonus idea I threw in there for you was about uh, travel photography, guys, world travel is not as difficult as it used to be. The world is smaller. You can keep an eye out on Google Flights or somewhere for great flight deals. And maybe create a Facebook group for seniors and their parents who are excited and willing to hop on a last minute flight with you just for a couple days to create some awesome portfolio shots somewhere unexpected in the world. Um, it's an amazing way to build your portfolio and get seniors excited about a program uh, with your studio. I hope those ideas help and you have an awesome senior season this year. I'm Philip Bloom and we'll catch up with you in the Come Unity Photographers Group um, on email and on Facebook. I look forward to hearing how things go. Communicate back to us. Let us know how things are going and uh, let's keep building your business together. Have a great one guys. Bye.